Today we'd like to discuss the financial analysis of Target versus Costco Wholesale Corporation. We'll cover several important areas, such as who our shareholders are, what our cost of capital is, if financial restructuring would benefit each of our companies, who our competitors are, and the overall value of our firm. After covering these areas, we'll be able to fully understand each company and its worth to them. Who are our shareholders? Shareholders are an important part of any company because they are the owners of the company. By shareholders investing their cash, they contribute to the company's finances, operations, and are a large part of overall consideration of the company. When looking at Target Corporation, we can see that they have 655 million shares outstanding with the top 10 institutions owning 33% of the company. Those top 10 include State Street Global, Vanguard Group, and MFS Investment. Costco has 432 million shares outstanding with the top 10% owning 32.3% of the company. Those companies include Capital World Investors, Davis Selected Advisors, and Vanguard Group, which also happens to be in Target's top 10 as well. Why do investors care about our cost of capital? Investors care about the cost of capital because if done correctly, it allows for a company to maximize the value of the firm while also giving stockholders the opportunity to receive higher returns. Investors are also equally concerned if a company does not take caution on their use of financing. It could put the stockholders in a riskier position. Target Corporation's current debt ratio is 45.03%. Costco's is at 11.69. A company that is too heavily in debt can spook investors because of the lack of liquidity and tough financial times, so Costco in particular has a lot of room to increase its debt and still maintain its flexibility. Additionally, if a company has high debt and investors perceive trouble and risk of bankruptcy, they may choose to invest their money elsewhere, which can have a great negative impact on cash flow. What is our cost of debt financing? Debt financing is an important measure because it can give investors an idea as to the riskiness of the company compared to others, because riskier companies generally have a higher cost of debt. It can be broken out down into two sections, the cost of debt pre-tax and the cost of debt after tax. Cost of debt pre-tax signifies the amount of interest paid on a loan without taking out tax deductions. It can be found by adding the default spread to the risk-free rate. The risk-free rate is found using the U.S. 10-year constant maturity rate and the default spread is found by correlating the company's credit rating to the default spread ratings of large manufacturing firms. Target and Costco both have a rating of A+, which shows a default spread value of 1.30%, added to the risk-free rate of 1.61%. This would give both companies a pre-tax cost of 2.91%. Cost of debt after tax shows how much money the debt costs after tax benefits are taken into consideration and is used most often by firms. It can be found by multiplying the pre-tax rate by the difference in the effective rate by the total interest rate. Target's after-tax cost of debt is 1.89%. Costco's after-tax cost of debt is 1.86%. What is our cost of equity financing? Cost of equity describes how much it costs a company to issue stock. Stock pricing is dependent on the risk-free rate, which is determined typically by the 10-year treasury rate, is determined by the beta of the stock, which describes how the stock moves in relation to the, to the market average. Beta of less than 1 means the stock moves less than the market. Beta of more than 1 means it's more volatile than the market, which means it's higher risk. Cost of equity is also affected by the market risk premium. In other words, the rate of return required by the market to incentivize investors to invest. Target has a beta of 0 0.8801, Costco's is 0 0.7, which indicate that both these stocks are less volatile than the market. Target's cost of equity is 6.86%. In other words, an investor would expect a theoretical annual return of $6.86 for every $100 invested. Costco's cost of equity is 5.82%, slightly lower. What is the overall cost of capital? Cost of capital is important to evaluate because businesses require capital to build new facilities, acquire other companies, expand internationally, and keep up to date on information technology, among other things. 
In order to do these things, a company must evaluate whether the expected rate of return exceeds the cost of capital. By looking at the chart, we can see that the cost of capital is the weighted average cost of equity, debt, and preferred stock. For Target Corporation, WAC equals 6.60%. For Costco, WAC equals 5.31%. Could we lower our overall cost of capital by changing our capital structure? Both Target and Costco could benefit by changing their capital structure. Target's current debt ratio is 45.03%, but we calculate that its optimal debt ratio is 50%. Costco has an even greater potential for growth if it were able to change its capital structure. By increasing its debt ratio from its current 11.69% to the optimal 40% that we calculate, shareholders would see an increase of over $8 in stock values, whereas target stock value would change only slightly if it increased its debt to the optimal level. As seen in the tables presented here, by optimizing its debt ratio, Costco would increase the firm's value by $3.5 billion, while target's value would increase by only $351 million. WAC would actually go down for both companies if they carried a higher debt load, Target by 0.02% and Costco by 0.26%. How would a financial restructuring affect the value of the company? The different results presented in this analysis suggest that increase, increasing Target Corporation's current debt to equity ratio from 45.03% up to 50% debt to equity could increase Target Corporation's value from the current $73.96 billion to the optimal value of $74.3 billion on a perpetual growth basis. The net gain in Target's value in this analysis could achieve $350 million. The results also suggest that increasing Costco's current debt to equity ratio from 11.69% up to 40% debt to equity could increase Costco's value from the current $46.9 billion to the optimal value of $50 0.4 billion on a perpetual growth basis. The net gain in Costco's value in this analysis could achieve $3.5 billion. Would more debt create unnecessary risk? Target Corporation and Costco's debt is currently below the optimal debt level. Although we can see that there would be benefits by increasing their debt to the optimal level, that increased debt would decrease the flexibility that Target has for large projects and may not be worth the small increase in firm value. Costco, however, would appear to be more able to increase its debt without losing its flexibility. Some of the advantages of carrying more debt or operating at, top, at optimal debt ratio are tax savings, added discipline, added discipline by increasing the cost of failure, an increase in firm value, and an increase in beta. Disadvantages of carrying more debt are higher expected bankruptcy costs, the probability of default increases, and there's a decrease in bond ratings. What does the competition do? Referring to chart one, comparatively, Walmart and Dollar General are more heavily weighted than Target and Costco in the percentage of long-term assets to total assets, and less heavily weighted in the percentage of current assets to total assets. Target's overall percentages of assets do not differ much from Walmart and Dollar General. However, Costco has a much higher percentage of current assets and lower percentage of long-term assets. This may suggest that Costco doesn't own as many facilities as the rest of the peer group and therefore has more cash available. In chart two, Costco can again be seen as an outlier compared to Walmart, Dollar General, and Target. Costco has lower long-term debt and a lower debt ratio. Both of these ratios again reinforce that Costco has less capital invested in facilities, which in turn creates lower debt ratios. Is our stock price fairly valued? Target Corporation's most recent stock price closing value is $62.50 per share, which is higher than the value derived from this analysis of $62.09 per share. This would suggest that the stock is overvalued in Target Corporation's case. Costco's most recent stock price of $95.69 matches this analysis's evaluation, so its value appears to be spot on.